exciting times at ULA as the company's Atlas V rocket is about to make history. The ULA rocket Atlas V that would launch Boeing Space's reusable spacecraft CST-100 Starliner with three NASA astronauts to the International Space Station has arrived at Cape Canaveral, Florida. The 107-foot-long Atlas V will launch NASA astronauts Barry Wilmore, Mike Fink and Nicole Mann on Boeing's crew flight test CFT later this year. The aim of CFT is to demonstrate the ability of Atlas V and Starliner to safely carry astronauts to and fro from the International Space Station. This is going to be a remarkable achievement for ULA that's competing with the likes of SpaceX and Blue Origin. In the coming days of Atlas V stacking work, two AJ-60 solid rocket boosters and the Centaur upper stage, also known as the second stage, will be hoisted into place. Starliner attachment occurs in July. Launch is planned for July 30 at 2.53 p.m. EDT from SLC-41 Cape Canaveral, Florida. Starliner spacecraft is being developed in collaboration with NASA's commercial crew program. The Starliner can accommodate seven passengers or a mix of crew and cargo for missions to low Earth orbit. Before the Atlas V rolled out, Starliner's astronauts Wilmore and Fink stopped for a selfie with the rocket ship crew. Currently, Starliner is undergoing fueling for the July 30 uncrewed orbital flight test too. ULA will use the Atlas V with two solid rocket boosters and a dual-engine Centaur to launch Boeing's CST-100 Starliner into space for NASA's commercial crew program. The Atlas V first stage seen here, emerging from the ULA cargo ship, is about to write a new chapter in human spaceflight history by launching the first crewed Starliner spacecraft to the International Space Station. Astronauts Wilmo and Fink came out to welcome the Atlas V that will take them to the ISS during the Starliner CFD later this year. The July 30 OFT-2 will be 145th mission for ULA and the 88th Atlas V launch. Atlas V is also a major NASA launch vehicle and is comparable to SpaceX's Falcon 9 and the Chinese Long March 3B. Atlas V was developed by United Launch Alliance, ULA, a joint venture between Lockheed Martin and Boeing. Starliner is the first American-made orbital crew capsule to land on land. It will use a series of parachutes and airbags that deploy at specific altitude while landing. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.